The number of GBI investigations that result in severe injury or death at the hands of police officers may shock you. I mean, we work between 50 and 80 a year and have been. We just, but that number is increasing. That's why this group of lawmen got together. The result of the meeting? A new policy aimed at building trust in the police in these investigations. There had been no decision made that if the shooting is captured on video, would the officer be permitted to view the video prior to being interviewed. There's no, there's no consensus in the profession over that. This group's decision, which I agree with, is that no, we would not allow the viewing of the video prior to the giving of a statement. Mark Gwen, the director of the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, said that this agreement is crucial. To make sure that um, from state to state to state, we were working these kind of in a consistent manner, uh, share um, different types of techniques that we used in these investigations, and to make sure that we could come together and help each other as we have to uh, investigate more and more of these officer-involved shootings. Gwen knows that the increase in the number of these cases is a problem. For him, it happened just a uh, uh, day ago. Well, yeah, within the last 48 hours, we've had a police officer involved shooting. Now the TBI is investigating the shooting of a man who police officers say tried to run over a Tennessee police officer. Charleston County Sheriff Al Cannon is here yeah. too. He knows how advances in technology like cameras and smartphones help to create transparency. After all, it was a neighboring town of Charleston that this video began making its way around the world. He signed off on today's agreement that the police officers have to tell their story first before they see any video. Because uh, that video uh, provides evidence that, that uh, oftentimes in the past we didn't have. 